to all right welcome to uh to today's master stream guys where we're going to talk about how excelsior is going to revolutionize education through ai and uh and through chatbots so uh, i'm really really excited to dig in with our team max paul and jeremy and uh, really just get into it so if you guys are are interested in being a beta user for the uh for the program, just drop an emoji, and as soon as the beta is ready, we will actually go out there and get you the link so that you guys can be a tester. But um, the rest of you guys, welcome to the uh, welcome to the live stream, guys. I'm I'm excited to dig in today. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be good stuff. So I think you guys are are muted. So Paul, Jeremy, Max, why don't I I tee it up? And and our goal and, and our mission is really to change the way people learn and change the way people access information but we want to do it in a very, very practical way. So does anyone kind of want to jump in and, and maybe explain what the fuck we're even talking about and how how we plan to to change the world with this cool little chatbot? <laughs> Changing the world one live stream at a time. So hello, everyone. My name's Paul, if uh, we've never met before. And um, man, I'm excited to be here, Hector. This is legit. Yeah. This is not not too long ago. It was just a, just a pipe dream. Just a crack pipe dream, just on the streets of the, you know, middle of nowhere, just crack pipe dreaming it up, and here we are live streaming. <laughs> but uh, so, so let's let's <laughs> for people who aren't in our our meetings, they're not going to understand the inside jokes of uh, of everything. But um, let's bring some context to what we're talking about because all of us have this this background. Paul, you have a, a group where you help uh, entrepreneurs really understand kind of this digital revolution that's going on. Max, you were telling me earlier before we got on the call that you got into business being a kind of a Forex trader, and now you're you're helping um, other businesses expand their, their services through kind of digital and social media marketing. And then Jeremy, you are you're there because you're way smarter than all of us and, and you actually like <laughs> way help, smarter help keep all, all this crazy idea people and, and keep us out of jail and you have uh, a multitude of of companies and you that you founded and uh, are really here as kind of the the legal guidance as well so does anyone want to want to chime in and maybe share why they were so excited about getting involved in the project so I was, um, I've always been very interested in doing something inside of the education space. And, um, you know, I, when, when I saw that we had this opportunity to all come together as a team, I started talking with Max. We started trying to theorize a way that we could use emerging technologies to disrupt education. And, you know, originally we were just kind of talking. I mean, Max, do you remember how, how exactly did we even get started talking? I don't, I don't even really remember. I think what it was is I had a gripe about the education industry. Uh, they were putting all the formalities and the political agendas ahead of actually teaching people how to be creative and problem solve. Yeah. It's like, listen, we've got all this technology. We've got all this information at our fingertips, and we're not using it properly. So it's not, it's not hard to theorize. We could revolutionize the industry with just a little bit of ingenuity. And because kind of off from there. Exactly. Because if you think about it, you know, there's so much information available online. You can learn just about anything you ever wanted to online if you have access to the right content. But that's where the challenge is, is a lot of times if you're a total beginner to something like let's say let's say you want to learn about chatbots or digital marketing or something like that. You know, you have no idea how, where to get started if you're a total beginner. You know, you don't know like who's the best, you don't know who's the worst, and usually you get a lot of bad advice. So that that's kind of the challenge of learning things online. So that brings a good point, Paul. We've been talking pretty theoretically. So what we're building, we'll, we'll kind of shoot to, to the, the what's going to happen. So if you want to be a beta tester for this kind of tool that we're talking about, essentially there's going to be a, a chatbot that's going to help guide you through the, the, the learning process, right? I mean, because we all spent hours you know, learning digital marketing and hours about how to build a business and hours about how to structure it. And there probably was countless hours that were wasted on stupid shit or on stuff that, that wasn't very valuable, right? Or to, we, to this day, probably. Right, or we were asking the wrong <laughs> questions, right? You know, I, I find that a lot of rookie entrepreneurs, their, their brain and their focus is over here. And I'm like, okay, that's a good thought, but you should be focusing here because this is the foundation and this is what's the most important. And so what we're gonna be building essentially is a tool 
that will be like your best teacher, right? The teacher that actually cared, the teacher that actually paid attention, the teacher that actually knew like what you wanted to learn and then give you that information and made it easy, fun and engaging for you to want to to learn. So it's gonna be right there in the chat bot and they're gonna be able to access uh, all of this content right there so that it's, it's kind of this curated voyage through all of this content bullshit that all four of us, you know, unfortunately had to wade through on our own. Exactly. And then ultimately what we want to do is we want to use this technology. We're going to start off, we're going to launch on Facebook Messenger with a Messenger chatbot, very similar to the ones that Hector is developing every single day. And then eventually we're going to create a software very similar to like Netflix or Pandora, some sort of a recommender that will be able to bounce you around to different spots on the internet and teach you whatever it is you want to learn. So that is kind of our one year goal, so to speak, is to create that artificial intelligence that can really make a difference inside of the education space and totally change how we learn online. Quick marketing plug. So if you want to try it out, (laughs) right? If you want to test it, we need testers. So just drop an emoji and we will, as soon as it's ready, you will be the first one to test it. And it's going to be, obviously it's going to be totally free. Um, That's one of the big things about our our project is we want to, give this information and curate it for free for people um, so that they don't have to pay to learn. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the thing is like, the reason we, we want to open this up to beta testers so early on is because like, we're not going to be able to do this just with us. You know, we're just four people um, trying to take on the education industry, you know, the both, not just colleges, but also primary schools, you know, high school, like everything, every, every level of education we think can transform to something that looks kind of like this. Well, I'm curious for you guys, if you had a similar experience and, and for you guys who are watching live, comment yes, if you had this experience too, because like, I remember for me, when I graduated college, all of a sudden when I started reading more, I'm like, what the yes. fuck? Like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like I've read more books since I graduated college than I actually read while I was in college. That doesn't make like, right? That doesn't, that doesn't equate so I'm curious for you guys if you had a similar experience about this self-education epiphany, you know, I think that's one thing that's kind of brought us all together is we very much believe in self-education. What, you know, Jeremy Max, was there anything, any kind of moments uh, of frustration or <laughs> agony even that kind of led you to realize that self-education was, was more important than this kind of structure that we've been living in for centuries? I remember from a very early age having issues with the education that I was receiving at my school. I went to what would be considered a pretty good school, um, but I found that I wasn't being stimulated enough for learning enough. You know, I would spend most of my free time reading, not doing homework, reading stuff I was interested in. Um, And, you know, because of that, you know, I've I've done that my entire life, really. But when it really took off was uh, when I found out about Audible. And all of the different books that were available on Audible, being able to listen to that right from my smartphone and learn anything you want to learn. Um, then I started seeing a lot of courses online, and it just blew me away, the information available for anybody that wants to go out and get it. But the problem is you have to know where to look. You have to know what to find, where to find it. Exactly. And that's why I'm so excited about this that we're doing here. Exactly. You know, you have no idea where to start. And the thing is, a lot, of, a lot of times you're sold bad advice and you have no idea. You know, you have no way of knowing unless you have someone who you can trust, who tells you what to do. And usually those people aren't free. Usually it's not, um, you know, that's a person. And that's that's something our service can do, too. We can help you connect with people that you might want to hire to help you out, you know, different coaches or different people, we can help you find someone who really knows what they're talking about if you do want to make that, um, you know, jump to the next level. But primarily, we're going to be teaching with free content, which is going to be very exciting, because we believe you can get a university level education using free content on the internet. We think that the only thing that's missing for the most part is someone like us to put it together into a way that makes sense you know, and uses only credible information because we all know that there's credible information out there that can make you an expert in whatever the fuck you want to learn, but you just need to find it, (laughs) you know? So that's where the, that's where the common person will struggle. 
I'm curious because we've, you know, Jeremy, well, for you, it was like, it was a different modality, right? It was like, you know, this book isn't working for me, but all of a sudden, if you let me listen to it, well, well, now things start to click. And similarly, I've stopped yeah. reading a lot less and I start listening a lot more. But Max brought up another question the other day. So I'm curious for you guys out there watching right now, there's almost 20 of you guys live. Would you guys want a place, like we are exclusively focusing on video right now, but Max was like, are we going to include blogs? So I'm just, I want to throw this out there because I don't know the answer. I haven't even asked this <laughs> to you guys, but um, would it, for you guys, would you want something for video or, or would you also want something like to curate blogs and articles as well? I'm just, I'm kind of curious where the, where the, um, uh, kind of the, the, the mindset of, of you guys who are watching is on that. But what do you guys think about the modality and what do you guys think about delivering video to people um, and helping them to learn through that as opposed to what we used to be just reading a textbook? Do you think that that's going to have any impact on this stuff at all? Yeah, I think you've got to have everything because here's the thing, like people are, people learn through best through audio, through visual, through reading, through writing, through doing it themselves, stuff like that. You know, some, like for me, I'm a very hands on learner. I don't do well watching a video about something. I have to do it myself, kind of have people walk me through what to do. That's why I like what Hector does and your style of video, because you literally just walk me through how what I need to do. And if I wanted to build a chat bot, I'd just watch your video and just follow you frame by frame. And then I'd know what to do, you know, and I wouldn't have to watch the video again. So I like that type of stuff, but I also really love podcasts. I listen to podcasts like crazy. I think those are because just because you can listen whenever you want or audible, like Jeremy was mentioning audible really is the shit. So I think we're going to be incorporating a lot of that. Um, just because we want to make sure we hit everyone's, uh, ideal way of learning you know and people have different ways i dig it so i haven't plugged this in a little bit but if you guys want to be a beta tester for this drop an emoji and we'll get it to you when we're uh when we're ready <laughs> so what's cool is that this is really just the beginning of it right this is going to lead absolutely to something bigger this is going to lead into eventually a system uh you know of real life physical learning places you know similar to a university or similar to you know a physical school so this is is kind of the beginning, but does anyone want to speak to the to the kind of vision of of once this uh, you know once this app is in place and once this kind of software is in place, what that's going to build towards? So eventually, we we want to have universities in every single you know all over the world. Um, and eventually primary schools as well. That's something we haven't even talked about. Like Max, did we even talk about primary schools too much in the beginning? I think we've mostly just been talking about universities. I think we briefly talked about implementing some sort of private school. Something yeah. that was a little, a little different. I feel like that's gonna be so, um, it's gonna be well, a huge, well, a huge market. Well, revolution that happened, right? Like there was this work revolution that's we're right in the middle of, and yeah. it's like that I get to work from home. It's the beautiful thing. For the first almost decade of my career, I commuted to work, you know, 10, 15, an hour sometimes a day. Yeah. And, and now I love that I get to create just as much income as I did before, at least just as much profit as I did before yeah, yeah. without having to travel. Why, why not? Why would the same exact thing happen with children um, in the sense that, they can go to their room, they put on something like this, they plug into a Zoom call, like, right? And so it's only gonna get even more integrated with virtual reality yeah. and with augmented reality. And so the Absolutely. possibilities for people to really take hold of their education is so, I mean, I think it's ripe for the taking. So I, I just wanna throw a, a kind of a question out there to the, to the crowd that's watching. If you guys have ever been like frustrated by the education system and frustrated by the uh, just like frustrated by the way that either our children or that you have been taught, um, drop a comment and let us know what like what your experience is. Because I'm I'm very very curious. I know that that's brought us together uh, quite a bit as well. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, there's there's so much here that we could get into without being so boring. If you guys have questions about it, um, throw it down there. I think that that we, one thing that we wanted to do on this video was to get some feedback on what you guys think about this idea. And if you think it's crazy, tell us we're crazy. And you think that if it's the worst idea ever, like we would know, like to know that. But if you think that it's something that would be valuable, 
um, you know, obviously let us know that too. Uh, Max, Jeremy, Paul, uh, you know, I could throw out some questions here and kind of take us some different ways, but anything that you guys think is important right now, given the stuff that we've already discussed? Well, I just think the quality of the education available, um, especially when you're talking about primary. Um, you know, like I had mentioned, my previous experience, I had what would be considered a good primary school education. Um, that bothers me that that would be good. And that makes me wonder what a bad primary education is. Um, so by making this information freely available at an incredibly high quality, um, good education available for people of any class, financial structure, any ability, is really doing a service to people, even if it's just as a supplemental education. Well, Absolutely. if we think about what the, edu I mean, not to, well, let's keep going on the education system. Fuck the education system, right? Like, if we think about right. what it to, you know, to, to go through four years, right? And I went to a, a, a private a private school, um, college, you know, and I, I had the either fortunate or unfortunate opportunity to do all that. And, and it cost $200,000 for that degree. Uh, I was lucky enough to get away with some scholarships. But I was also riddled and saddled with some debt. And I was lucky enough to make it out with not a lot of debt compared to a lot of my other friends who took on a much larger percentage in loans. And then to see the jobs that they were getting right right out of college and to see the actual not only were they not getting a very good job, they weren't prepared for life. Like it was like no, they graduated from school. They went through 16 years of education. And then all of a sudden it was like they were just getting started. And yeah, luckily, that's how I, I felt find entrepreneurship through all that. But what I, I hear, Paul, you're already kind of had some thoughts on this. But what, what would you say about like the life skills that education should have a responsibility to teach or, 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 or what kind of, you know, in terms of at least preparing people for real life? I mean, I think that's so essential. That's something that we miss so much. You know, like something we talk about a lot in the group in our in our little chats is like Jeremy brings up a lot is financial education. You know, people have no clue, and that's something that's something that's like the first thing people always bring up is like, oh, schools don't even teach you about how to pay your taxes. They don't teach you how to do shit with saving for retirement or investing or real estate or the stock market or. You know, I'm glad they anything. don't. They would screw that up too. They, I'm sure they would, but that that's my whole point. Is like they. <laughs> They shouldn't, you know, in our ideal system, they shouldn't. And um, uh, two things real quick before we go on, we have a, we have some questions that I thought were kind of important. Um, one question was uh, from Mark Howells. Mark said, how does this compare or contrast with something like Khan Academy? So the way that I think we're, we're thinking of this, Mark, is this would uh, if if Khan Academy had the best content for whatever it is you were trying to learn, we would send you to their website. We would send you to one of their videos and say, hey, we've in our from what we've seen, this is the best video online for whatever it is you're trying to learn. Here you go. Watch it as the next part of your uh, course. Right. So to YouTube, speak. So there's levels to like the curation, right? Because you can go to YouTube, right? And there's just, it's like this massive sea of content that there's no curation or anything to it. And there's no kind of validity or often, you know, it's just, there, there's no way of, of knowing whether or not it's good content. And then Khan Academy is great because we know that it's valuable stuff, like it's good stuff, but it's also only from one person or one Creator. organization yeah, yeah one it's only coming from one voice and so what we want to do is we're not you know there's going to be very if any content from us and it's going to be about going out there and finding all of the free stuff and putting it into what we call a path of learning so that the videos that you watch will make sense and they'll build on top of each other so that by the end of it you actually have a practical skill that's built so it's very similar to Khan Academy but I think that we would be grabbing all the different Khan Academies and putting together an, like a mega course of all the, yeah. the, you know, the Thinkifics and the Udemy's and all those, all those kind of things that are out there. Exactly. Well, let, the me, let me, go ahead. I'm sorry. If I, if I could address this in, in, you know, kind of an analogy, what we're really talking about doing here is we're talking about getting your French fries from McDonald's, 
getting your hamburger from Wendy's and getting your milkshake from Steak. All right. Now you can go to one restaurant and you can get a bunch of food, but nobody's the best at everything. Right. So what you have to ask yourself with the traditional education system, you think one person is sitting down and writing a textbook or are they taking the best context? You know, is, 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 is Maggie the best person at teaching fraction? Is Gary the best person at, at, you know, teaching multiplication? So in that particular instance, I imagine Khan Academy would probably be a large source of the content. Yeah, depending on whatever it is they're trying to teach, for sure. It's just about being, uh, we're, we're dispassionate. We're looking for the best results for a particular person's learning style. So that's how I think it's going on addressing that. Exactly. And um, I think it's an important distinction, for sure, that we are not going to be making too much of our own content. We're going to be making like a super, super course of everyone else's content. And we can make something to fill in some gaps, or if we are legitimately the best in some sort of thing. Like maybe we have some heck, uh, Hector chatbot, chatbot knowledge, knowledge bombs thrown in there. Yes. Or something like that. Um, what so. I also think is, is will be helpful is like for, I'm, I'm curious for you guys, right? Like we have all these different ideas about the different paths that we're going to have, but we're going to be putting out a, a, a beta, <laughs> right? And a very, like very much a, an MVP just to, to get some testers. Um, so if you want to, to be one of the beta testers, drop an emoji and we'll get that for you. But the question that I have for you is what skill do you think is most valuable, right? Like for you right now, who's watching, like what skill, like if you wave the magic wand over your life and we could just give you this skill or like in one of those video games, like if you could just get like a power up and all of a sudden you get like, you know, flaming arrows, like, oh, now you can beat the boss. Like, what power would you want, right? And we've got things in there like, you know, affiliate marketing, like digital marketing, like selling info products, like building an agency, like, you know, building a brand. Um, you know, we'll probably start to introduce things like crypto and for, you know, those, those types of things. I'm curious for you guys who are watching, what, what skills in your mind, you're like, if I had this, man, my life would take off throw those drop a comment and let us know because I'm, I'm curious because uh, that's why we're doing this is so that we can build it for you um and you guys can be a part of the process of, uh, of actually creating this this product absolutely and the other thing that's an important piece of what you said is kind of the the uh understanding or the belief that like nothing is that hard you know to learn like i mean think about it hector you teach people every day about building chat bots which most people, like if you talk to like, you know, the average person and you ask them like, hey, how hard do you think it would be to build a automated messenger? They'd probably be like pretty fucking hard. But, you know, Hector, you teach people how to do it in like an hour, hour, you know, video or something like that. And it's not that hard. So like that's kind of the point of what we're trying to say is like if we could magically give you any sort of skill, whether it be building a website, setting up an online store Uh, digital marketing, or maybe even something like, man, I've always wanted to learn about World War II. And I've always been wondering, like, what are the best sources? What's real? Like, what's the real history of World War II? Because I've only ever heard it from the perspective of my country, you know, or something like that. Like, what, what, what did the other, you know, what did other countries think about World War II? You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's something that um, interests me a lot about online as you get to connect with other people from all over the world and hear their perspective on things. So, yeah. So what do do you guys want to learn more about basically? Yeah. I would love to know, like, I I think about one, one, one analogy. I love analogies because right now we're creating something that isn't there, but, but one, one thing that I love about all of you guys is you guys are all willing to, to to go out on a limb and create something that's not there. And, and it's like an R2 deep, learning right like if you have yeah. a little a little robot that's going to guide you along the path to mastery and that's going to have an archive of all of this different knowledge that can be able to dispense to you and what we're going to be building and the reason that we need your beta users and beta testers we're going to be building out a system that can identify what stuff you like what stuff you don't like what stuff right. you are you're bound to click with what stuff is bound to resonate with you and to give you more of that and to give you less of the other stuff. And it's going to, uh, you know, and this is, that's eventually what it will be, but this first test um, is, is pretty cool. You know, it, it'll actually be able to give you a, a great understanding of what the system will do. You'll be able to learn and be able to get content from it. And uh, 
visitors who are beta users, obviously, um, I don't know, there's gonna be some cool stuff for you. I don't, we gotta figure that out. But if you guys want to be a beta tester, <coughs> and uh, we'll uh, we'll get that info to you. So we got um, a couple. We got a couple more questions here. Yeah. Drop um, your questions, guys, if you guys have any. We probably got a few more minutes left on the on the live stream. So if you guys have any questions, drop those down there. Yeah, please. Um, Mark fully commented, and he said he tuned in late. Is this about high school education or education for entrepreneurs? So, Mark, what we're thinking about doing is initially kind of launching as education for entrepreneurs just in the beginning to test our product, get some data, and get some buzz going about the the project just and, because and entre- I, I, you were going to say it. What were you going to say? Yeah. Entrepreneurs are passionate about learning. Fucking and A, Paul. This exactly. We're, talking we're about. linked. We're linked. But uh, yeah. And uh, the thing is, is that, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs struggled through school. A lot of them didn't really jive very well with the education system. So you have a lot of passionate entrepreneurs who want to see something like this and more importantly, want to see it for their kids. So I think a lot of our the people who might be signing up to help us out with changing the, the system are people who didn't like the system and also people who don't want the system for their children. So that's kind of what we are trying to develop. We're trying to create a new way that those people can use to go to university and also to eventually do primary school. So Mark Foley, to answer your com- comment, um, well, well, eventually we we'll high one. schools. Uh, because how, how our path, you know, and I was thinking yesterday, you guys can see, uh, I was getting ready for our developer and giving them some plans and stuff. But anyways, um, the way that we're going to tackle this is we're going to start with entrepreneurship and then we are going to, to utilize that and leverage that into, um, into the other paths, right? So they're going to start right. with making money because that's where people want to, you know, that's where you, people usually People usually figure out that they need to learn them, themselves either like when they have a traumatic experience and their backup is going to fall and like something crazy happened or they need to make money. And so that's where we're going to start. But right. what we haven't really talked about is this platform is also going to be a user content like platform. So exactly. You guys, if you're a content creator or you're a teacher or you're something, you know, you're someone who has a message to share, you want to teach. As we get going, you'll have an opportunity to submit your content into the system so that other people can start to discover it and other people it'll actually recommend it as well so it's going to be almost this kind of reddit like system where you can submit stuff and if it's good it'll bubble to the top and more people will find it exactly and that might be a few months away you know that's not the the prototype that we're getting ready to launch here in like a week or two but But that is going to come soon if you're, if you're a beta tester, you're going to get be on the ground floor. So if this is something right. you want to like, we're, and like also we're looking for people's content to put in here. So if you guys like want to want have content that you want to be able to add to this um, by being a beta tester and by contributing, it's going to allow you to get in on the ground floor so that you can you know start to leverage that as soon as possible too. So just another bonus, um, if you guys want to be a beta tester, just drop an emoji and we will get you the info. Jeremy, I feel like I cut you off. Do you want to throw something in there? No, 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 you're good. So we got one more question that I think is really good. Mark Howells just asked, how is this education curated? Meaning, are we saying that if it's on your system that it's good to go or will it be a review-based setup so content may be added, taken away from a learning path based on the populace? So, Mark, um, So I yes. actually have an idea of, of I, how it's going to work. I think. So in, Please go. Initially, initially, what will happen is they'll be able to watch a video. And very early on, what we'll do is as soon as they finish the video, there'll be a brief interface that says, did you like the video? And then the second question will be like, how did it make you feel? And very similar, I, I'm kind of curating all these things from great systems, right? But similar to like TED, we want to know, was a video motivational? Was it inspiring? Was it right. you know, informative? And so <clears throat> you'll actually be able to answer those questions uh, after the video, and we'll be able to get more data off of the, for the video. And that'll also let us know what, you know, whether or not to give you more information. So the, re- the way that it's going to incorporate kind of the AI is we're going to be listening to what you guys like and then giving you more of that and then giving you less of what you don't like. 
Right. Think of it like Netflix, but for education, essentially, you know, recommending to you other things that you might like to learn, whatever it is you're trying to learn. But here's the thing, just like think about it like this. So Netflix kind of obviously screens the various things that are on Netflix. They're not going to bring, I mean, (laughs) maybe it's a bad example because there are some like funny, shitty movies on Netflix, but like (laughs) Netflix isn't like trying to bring you shit, you know, like you'd have the idea. It would be that like something has to be decent to like be on Netflix. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of what we're trying to go for. Obviously, like I said, there is some shit on Netflix. So don't quote me like that. Don't quote me for this, you know, totally, because they're still figuring it out. But the idea is that we'll kind of have like a pool of content, you know, a large pool of content that we find to be legitimate stuff that is actually useful. The way that we're going to determine that is just look at the results that whoever is making the content look at the results that they're getting either for themselves or for their clients to make sure that they really know what they're doing. And, and we're talking about people like Russell Brunson, you know, we're talking about like Gary Vaynerchuk, like people who are like the best in the industry. That's who you're like in our digital marketing course, for example, we're going to use a lot of content from Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, especially if we're talking about motivation or analyzing trends or the mindset you need to have stuff like that you know what i mean like we're going to go to the very best so and then our ai system our recommender system is going to bounce you around to whatever you find whatever is best suited for your specific way of learning based on all the data you've been giving up to this point so i hope that makes a little more sense you know i have have something i have something for that too um mark um in response to your question I don't know if we'll have time to get to it in this video, but why don't you go ahead and comment and tell us how you would like it um, to be curated. And maybe you might have a better idea. And that's why it's so important to have um, good beta testers in this, guys. This is your chance to determine your education. This is your baby. We're creating this, but we need your help to create it and make it as good as possible. And we need you to tell us how you want it to be structured. Exactly. We have the means to create the product. We have the team that has the, the technical ability to do it. We have the, the vision and the, the ability to make it all happen. But we want you guys to tell us the details of what you want to see, because we're not going to create something unless it's something that we have feedback from at least a couple of hundred people telling us like, this is definitely what we want. You know, this is what we think works the best. So, yeah. And we, and we have, you know, we've already have close to 150 people who are interested in being one of the beta testers. So it's um, pretty exciting. Like, you know, there's plenty of people out there, but the thing is, is that for so many times, right. Every time, and this is kind of why, uh, why we got together. Right. But every time someone posts a, a status about, Oh, my gripe on the education system, everyone loves to chime in and everyone loves to throw their two cents in there. Well, here's your opportunity to actually do something about about it, right? Here's your chance to actually make a difference right. because we are we're going to go out there and we're going to create a tool, and you can say that you were a part of that, that you were there. Like, <laughs> I'm such a uh, I'm such a, a loser because I uh, have my claim to fame that I l- found Drake about six months <laughs> before he ever got, like ever got famous at all. Dude, that's huge. What are you friends. talking about? posted his uh posted his song and i was like who is this guy and then six (laughs) months later drake's album dropped and the whole world changed and everybody you know got a girl like so my point is that you can be on the ground floor of this and uh i'm sure that as we roll out we're going to be doing cool things cool trainings for our beta testers yeah of course community i mean it's really it's going to be a community that's going to be evolving we'll have events online events, in-person meetups. I mean, it's going to be a community of people it's gonna who be are all fun. invested into bettering themselves and, and, and improving the, you know, the education system. Exactly. I'm really excited. Really, really stoked. Um, and it's going to be like one step. It's going to be more like as a beta tester, it'd be more like you're, you're not just finding out about Drake before he took off. You're like, you're like helping Drake write the song, mm. you know, that, that he, right. so you're, but but you get to you be popular too. It. Yeah, like you get to be, you know, you get to be a part of it. You get to, so, um, 
hey, yeah Drake, so a little bit more bass bro exactly you could be like hey man that song's great but like a little more bass would be would be really dope you know <laughs> so that's kind of what we're it's kind of what we're getting here i do yeah. max you're the host he's he's back max if you could throw that back to me um if you can figure it out that's great if not we can we can just make things happen um, me... other than that, guys, if you guys want to be a beta tester, drop an emoji. We'll get you the info. It's almost ready. So uh, you'll have something to test out very, very soon. And then uh, if you have any questions, throw those down there and we'll uh, we'll make sure that we answer them as well. Oh, got one more. Go for it. Mark, Mark, uh, Mark Howells, he responded. He said he'd rather have it set up based on the mass appeal and benefits shown through reviews, as well as to be served up personalized learning based on his liked education from the AI. So in other words, kind of a review process, very similar to like Airbnb or Uber or eBay or something like that. And then also have it be personalized based on the, the recommend, you know, what he's liked in the past. So Mark, I think we're right there with you. I'm sorry if we didn't communicate that too well. We do have the idea of a ranked education system, you know that, but that that's going to be a little further down in the future once the software is a little more f firmly developed. Once we have, because just because to build an artificial intelligence and our AI developer isn't online, he's not on the call right now. <laughs> But he'd tell you, you need a shitload of data. <laughs> you, need, you need a lot of data to make anything happen. Like, you know, the reason why Netflix, well, I mean, obviously technology wasn't quite caught up. But like, you know, tech, Netflix started as a, as a DVD delivery system where you had to order all of your DVDs and you would get a physical DVD in the mail. And it wasn't until years later, once they had all of this data built up about what people actually were, were into, that Netflix could create an online system that they have today. So that's kind of in the stage where we are right now, is we have to figure out, like, what do people actually like? You know, what is, and more importantly, like, what, what's getting people results? Like, which path of learning gets people the best results? That way we can use that to formulate everything else. So once we have all that information is when we can start doing really cool stuff like what you're talking about, which is basically the, the idea almost to make this like an Airbnb type of thing where anyone can come on and create their own path of learning. And then the community can decide which one is the best based off of reviews and based off of which is getting people the best results. So I think that's going to be really cool, but that's probably a year or two down the road. I dig it. All right, guys, any last thoughts before we wrap this bad boy up and get out of here? Dude, this has been dope. I'm really excited. Guys, if you guys have been tuning in, I love all you for spending time with us. I mean, more than anything, like even if you even if you don't become a beta tester, the fact that you spent any time with us, we're so grateful that you uh, just believe enough to click on the video. So if you guys want to take it to the next step and uh, help us with the, the beta, uh, drop an emoji and we'll get that info to you <clears throat> ASAP. And it's totes free. I don't know if we said that enough. It's free. All yeah, of it. All whole of thing. It. Free to be a beta tester. Free, free shit. Free shit. Days. Drop the days. Hashtag church of money. <laughs>